welcome to another epic episode of the Brand Domination Show with your host, entrepreneur, social media influencer, and magnetic brand expert, AJ Adams. Every week, we bring you strategies from top entrepreneurs and influencers to help you stop competing and start dominating in your life and business. Now, crank up the volume and prepare to dominate. Welcome to the very first episode of The Brand Domination Show. I'm your host, AJ Adams, and I'm pumped up because this podcast has been over a year in the making, probably two years at this point. And I'm excited to finally release this, to finally, finally for things to come together and bring this uh, awesome amount of value for you. And it's been a journey uh, of my own and a journey in connecting, building relationships, building my own personal network that I've now been able to leverage to bring you guys, the dominators, my audience, massive value from our guests and we're already several episodes deep uh, even as i'm recording this first episode and i'm excited because there's just been massive massive value already uh, brought in uh, by our guests including people like brad lee who ceo of lightspeed vt who has a incredible training platform and we sat down in his uh, his studio in las vegas at lightspeed vt headquarters where Tony Robbins, Les Brown, Eric Thomas, John Taffer, Damon John have created their courses and they host it on uh, Brad's platform, uh, Grant Cardone as well. We've also had on the show already uh, Caleb Maddox, who is a 16-year-old millionaire, self-made, building an empire. We've had digital marketing expert, expert Elliot Drake, my good friend. We've had Charlie Chena who closes seven-figure deals, incredible salesman and founder of the Expose and Close sales method, seven-figure sales method. Uh, We've had Tyler Harris uh, and so many great people and more to come that are already lined up. But this first episode is really just an introduction. I've given you all the hype now, and I want to tell you what the show is really about and why it exists. So the show is really to bring you value in how to grow your brand, to grow your business, getting strategies from not newbies or amateurs, but getting strategies from people who are making massive impact and making massive income. These are seven eight-figure earners. These are the people who work behind the scenes, driving their brands and their businesses. So you're hearing from the best of the best, and it's just going to get better and better. And the motivation for me in doing this podcast was one, selfishly, because I wanted to connect with these people. I wanted to hear from them, to learn from them, and in a, in a way that added value back to them in the form of exposure through the show. And I wanted to give you, my audience, access to them that you would possibly never otherwise get unless you paid to go to a conference, unless you invested in one of their programs or courses or their services. I wanted to bring you that access and do what I believe hasn't been done. There are so many branding experts, quote unquote, brand strategists who teach about personal branding. And I hear the same redundant, boring, lame message all the time of creative, creative, creative logos, design, websites, funnels. But the fact is, that is not what a brand is. Those aren't the strategies. Those aren't strategies at all, really. They're actually just assets. Giving you a hammer is not a strategy for building a home. So giving you a logo is not a strategy for building a brand. What you need is the system, the methods, the tactics that go with that hammer, that go with that logo or that website. And that's what this show is really all about. Myself, I am a CEO and co-founder of a digital branding agency that helps entrepreneurs scale to six and seven figures. I've personally consulted with, managed, built personal brands and content and strategy for celebrities, for millionaire CEOs, for a $100 million lifestyle brand. And these strategies, these people that I bring on the show have done at least that, and many of them have done much, much more. These are entrepreneurs who've built multiple six-figure businesses, seven-figure empires, 
eight figure, some are doing 20 million a year, some are doing 100 million a year. So they're going to bring these real strategies. And that's really the passion and the drive to give you what's not being said about building a brand, a B R A N D. And I've created what I call the magnetic brand method, which really is B, building a system so that R, you can reach millions, A, attract them, amplify your brand, accelerate your business growth so that N, you never have to chase another lead, client, deal, sale, money. And D, that's how you dominate. That's what the pros do. That's what separates the winners from the losers and the dominators from the competitors. So I hope you get massive value. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you share this out because we're out to break the internet with this podcast and I'm pumped up for it. So why, who am I? Let, I'll, let me share a little bit of my story and give you some context because you're going to get a ton of value, like I said, from this podcast, but I want you to have some context for who AJ Adams is. My background and how I got into doing high-level branding and strategy and uh, social media and digital marketing all stemmed from when I launched as an entrepreneur uh, at this point of recording this seven years ago, I had no idea what it was doing. I set out to be a motivational speaker. Um, I, was, I spent 10 years uh, working in churches with students as a youth pastor, and I felt the calling and the passion to reach students outside of the church who would never step into a, uh, any type of religious context. And from there, it just grew because I don't have a crazy story. Sure, I grew up in poverty. I dropped out on a high school dropout. Uh, then I eventually got a GED, which stands for Go Execute Daily. That's my definition. Then I went to college, dropped out three times because I didn't learn the first time that college wasn't for me. I kept trying to follow the recipe of society and it didn't work. It still doesn't work for anyone unless you're a doctor or a lawyer, but that's a whole different topic. From there, uh, I realized I've got to have a way to get people to notice me. I've got to have a way to get attention and a way to convey to people, potential clients who would book me on stages. I have to be able to convince them that I have massive value because I know I do. So I obsessively dove into studying branding and marketing and social media. I studied Tony Robbins. I studied Les Brown. Every single speech they ever gave up to that point, every motivational speaker that was out there, every Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, I studied all of them. I would spend hours listening to their talks and outlining their talk, breaking it down, analyzing the strategy of how they gave a great talk, how they built their brand, how are they marketing, how are they getting attention from the old heads in the speaking game, Les Brown, Zig Ziglar, Jim Rohn, to uh, those who have done it the kind of new school way and leveraged social media, Tony Robbins, um, Gary Vaynerchuk, you know, name them. And what I discovered was it was all personal branding. They had value, but they understood how to leverage the power of the tools, the digital tools and the digital marketplace. So in doing that, I started getting booked on stages. I didn't do what most professional speakers say you must do, which is speak 100 times for free. I spoke once or twice for free, and after that, I was getting checks. I was getting paid. And then I built a personal brand. I had several iterations. First, I was just a generic youth speaker, tried to dress cool to impress the kids, didn't work out. Then I tried a gimmick. I was the black belt leadership speaker, didn't work out almost broke my hand because I would break bricks on stage after every talk to prove that the ability to overcome anything is 90% mental and only 10% physical, which is true, but that's not a sustainable model. So from there, I was your power coach and eventually I got it right. And now I'm just AJ Adams, entrepreneur, digital brand strategist, magnetic branding expert, number one of the world. And I built a brand around me authentically myself from there i was getting booked on stages getting paid almost double what other speakers were getting paid who were more established speaking at the same events that got the attention of other speakers coaches consultants who started asking me how are you doing what you're doing who's helping you can you recommend your social media manager because they saw my content even though it wasn't great it was way better than theirs and they would ask me if they could if I could give them a referral to my social media manager, and I would tell them, I don't have one. I do it myself. 
So from there, that opened up the opportunity to start consulting, to start coaching some of them. They were getting results. And from there, it just grew. Uh, listening to the wisdom of my COO, my chief operations officer, aka my wife, I started speaking on more on the digital branding, on social media strategy, on personal branding. And eventually that grew into launching what is now my primary business, D6 Media. And that's how we are now where we're at today. Again, through personal branding, speaking at events, uh, it had a great opportunity to open up in the form of getting the attention through having a magnetic personal brand. And this is why I say I'm number one, the number one magnetic personal branding expert in the world because I'm the only one who does it as well as I do. And that's a fact. You can take that to the bank. I got the attention of the former president of FUBU, uh, Mr. Bernd Ullman. We started working together, collaborating, partnering. He became a business partner, and that opened up great opportunities. So fast forward today, and now we just continue to build, work with entrepreneurs, help them scale the six and seven figures through personal branding, courses, content, and the in-depth strategies that we teach. So that's the background. That's the context and this podcast is my personal mission to make sure that the marketplace, that you, the entrepreneur, whether you're struggling or successful, just trying to go to the next level, understand what a brand actually is. Not what the quote unquote brand strategist, who's really just a graphic designer, tells you it is. Not the ones who say, well, just have a great website, build it, and they will come. You can build it, but that doesn't mean you're going to get traffic. You can have a great logo, but it doesn't matter if. It's not making money for you. And you can create the best content in the world, but it's pointless and a waste of your life if no one sees it. So you've got to have the creative, which is the 10%. But more importantly, you need to have the 90%, which is the branding engine. And I say I like to use what I call the Ferrari analogy. You don't pay $300,000 for a Ferrari because it looks cool, at least not just because it looks cool. Because if you got in that Ferrari and you put the key in or you press the button, Ferraris don't have keys, they have push button start. If you push that button and the engine purrs like a kitten because it's got a Honda engine in it, instead of roaring like a lion like it should, you're not going to buy that Ferrari. You're not going to be impressed no matter how cool it looks. You pay $300,000 for a Ferrari because when you press that, start, that ignition start button and that engine turns over, you hear the roar of that V12 thousand horsepower engine and you know that you're spending money on something that is far and above any other vehicle that's why that's what a brand is it's the engine that drives the creative so this show is going to give you access to people who are doing exactly that and from different industries from those who are building personal brands those who understand the creative and how to drive it with strategy those who were in sales, speakers, coaches, CEOs, various industries, and you're going to get the best of the best, the best strategies that are available out there to help you stop competing and start dominating in your life and business. Because if you want to win, you can't compete. That's just doing what everyone else is doing, trying to do it better. You've got to put yourself in a position to dominate. And that's what the Brand Domination Show is all about. So welcome to the Brand Domination Show. Subscribe, crank up the volume, and prepare to dominate. I'm your host, AJ Adams, and I look forward to bringing you high value, massive value every single week. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you share it out. We'll see you on the next epic episode of the Brand Domination Show. Mm -hmm.